I don't think I've ever been so stressed out in my life. I've been pretty stressed out before, but I think this one's winning. So what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Um, yeah, there's been so much going on. I don't even know where to begin, realistically. So, as most of you guys know, we moved. We actually bought a house. Uh, we moved all the animals over, most of the animals over already. Um, it's been, it's been crazy. Painting bedrooms. The people that lived in this house before us literally destroyed it. They were renting. So I've been between bouncing back between animals and doing stuff in the house. It's honestly been hell. Now, the new snake room is coming along slowly, but it's coming along. I built, uh, well, snake, I don't even know what to call it. We'll call it a serpentarium. Sounds good, because it's realistically what it's gonna be. Um, so yeah, I, I put the vision cages on the old wood that I had. Well, it wasn't old, but uh, the wood that I had in the big viper room um, or big snake room um, just for right now. It's not going to stay on that because I am going to be getting a lot more visions uh, sooner than later to help contain the amount of snakes that are probably coming in in the next month or so because uh, it's kind of a lot. But besides that fact, um, good news and bad news. So as most of you guys know, we uh, we moved all the snakes and we moved all the cages. I recently, this past Saturday, was able to move the other big paludarium, which I'm actually watering right now, you just can't tell, and also the other three which are right there. Um, with a lot of moving, or moving in general, comes a lot of stress, uh, not only for the people involved, but also the animals that are involved as well as the plants. So with this, unfortunately, things die. Uh, I had two snakes die. Um, one, which was very dear to me, I was very upset about it, was the bigger blue in Solaris, the one with the kinky tail. He started acting funny the day after the move and then yesterday just rolled. So I was keeping a very close eye on him, monitoring his temperature and all that fun stuff, but for whatever reason, didn't pull through. Now, it could have been something due to the fact of his tail, because if you guys remember, it was very kinky um, all the way up to his hemipenes, so don't really know what that is, but I was very angry and upset um, about the loss of that snake. Now, unfortunately, in here, I used to have two very beautiful snakes, but now I only have one because, unfortunately, the other baby eyelash viper, for whatever reason, just rolled. So, down, back down to one eyelash viper, I should say, which really sucks, but it is what it is. So now at this point I was hoping to have a lot more done with the house and the animals. Wasn't really expecting the workload that was coming along with the house as well. Um, I do have half of the fox cage done. The foxes are here. The skunk is in a temporary enclosure for right now. Uh, he will be getting a new permanent enclosure when I kind of figure out where we're going to put that. Uh, the monitors also be getting a new enclosure. The Burmese pythons getting a new enclosure. Um, but I also still need to build everything for this snake room because you notice you can only see that vivarium or paludarium right now because everybody else is on the floor. So that needs to change. That's a big no-no. I'm not okay with that. I got the big ones here behind me. So unfortunately, they're not set up yet either. Um, Again, wanted to get those back set up, get those finished, get the water flowing in them, put the snakes back in them. Um, but again, 
I'm gonna build the stuff that um, these guys are gonna sit on with room for others as well. Starting with that one, I'm gonna finish that one. Um, we're gonna do the water feature. We're gonna add the snakes. I need to add a couple more plants because when moving, unfortunately, plants do also die. So I lost, I believe it was one, two, three bromeliads in that one. I lost a couple of the different vine plants in like this one here. Don't even know if you can see it, but it's all withered and dry going across the skull's face and up there. Yeah, it just sucks. I even have my snakes on paper and God, I hate, hate keeping snakes on paper, but it's a temporary thing for right now until I can dedicate more time for my animals. It's just difficult. I have crocodilians and totes because I don't even have their containers here yet that I can keep them in. They're still at the old house. I actually have to bring them over tomorrow. So much going on, but I promise guys, it is gonna be worth it. So thank you for, for sticking this out here with me. Ooh, that light is bright. Boom, backing that up. Um, but yeah, thank you for sticking out there with me, guys. This move has been way more stressful than I thought it was going to be. Uh, keep in mind too, empty enclosure, got a couple of stuff we gotta move around here in the future. So that'll all be coming. As you can see, I'm currently trying to get my office set up over here. Nice bright light for that. Um, just so much going on. So much going on, so little time. On the downside too, Saturday we had some friends help us move. One of them had COVID apparently. Uh, we got tested, the test came back negative. I still think we got tested a little too soon, but we're waiting it out a little bit longer. So as you can see, I haven't even like shaved or nothing. But yeah, guys, so there's so much going on. Um, you know, I still have plans to get a bigger snake building built, um, which in aspect, it would be only, what is this? This building is a thousand square feet that we're in now. There's still plenty of room for a lot more cages. Um, and then the building that I want to get is about 12 to 1400 square feet. So all that fun, fun stuff. So big thank you to my Patreons. Big thank you to you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys would like to become a Patreon or donate to the GoFundMe for the snake building, all that stuff is in the description below. But man, we are moving along. It's just, it's a lot. It's so much going on at once. So uh, let's just say I'm up until about two o'clock every morning, getting up every day at five o'clock in the morning. Boom, hoorah. So that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Thank you for watching. Nice little update for you guys on what is happening here at the new house, at the new facility. Again, pushing, pushing, pushing to get open to the public sooner than later. So stay tuned, guys. I'll catch you later. Bye.